Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Remake. We need to save the pillar. The plate support pillar. Tifa's run off, Aerith's gone after her. Please, let us through! These guys? What the hell are you doing? What are you? Um. Cloud, Tifa, we have to get past whatever it takes. Right. I wonder if these guys are as I think they are, and they're like a manifestation of, I don't know, fate or the, the original story. I wonder if you can die to them. So it'd be ironic if that, like they tried to keep the story on the original path, but then in doing so kill you, which is a deviation from the original path, so... Eh, who knows. This guy not gonna do anything, just... Where's this enigmatic spirit? There we are. I think Aerith's laser beam pushed it out of the way of uh, Cloud Strike. Oh, the irony. Just notice this dude's health isn't going down. Yeah, there we go, it's a bit better. Gonna hold it. See what I get. So it looks like the AOV just it just makes that bigger. Maybe. I don't know. Is this a different one? Because it's health. Is severely different. Almost there. Yeah, well, there we go. Come 
Why did they just up and leave? Maybe you got, maybe they were just. If it is, well, we'll see. Everyone just you got? viewing the spectacle. No one running like they should be. That's Barrett. You okay? Cloud. It's Shinra. They're trying to take out the pillar. I know. I have to go back. Barrett and the others are still. Stop. Stay with Wedge. I'm going up. Sure. I'm going to. I can still fight. Big T. They were shooting at me and he. Wedge, please. Let Cloud handle it. Don't worry. I'll patch him up. Hang on, guys. Help is coming. Wedge, listen to me. You stay here with them. Oh boy. Right. Um, we're fighting people, which means that, yeah, we've got fire material, and that's cool. Cleansing. Prayer. No healing. Might need to quickly switch prayer for chakra. Sure. Just checking for discounts. There's always time to be frugal. Oh, I'm getting sick of this. Don't they have anything better to do? Tell me about it. See how hard we got hit over here? Shit. What's wrong with these people? This is Echo 1 3. Oh, you know, they just don't want to be crushed to death. Uh, sentry guns, okay. Okay. Shotgun, I don't like that. Ugh. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Allow me. Okay. Might want to put some lightning material on Cloud as well. Oh, they hit hard, man. Healing. Oh, they heal themselves as well. Get ready. A flight force day. <sighs> Let's go for the main group. Bird. Cool, a better one of mine. Use chakra outside of battle, so I need to use it now. Let's go. <laughs> Just realized I furrowed my brows heavily during that combat. 
Maybe that'd be a reason to have a face cam, just to see all the stupid faces I pull when playing games I'm not aware of. I thought it was a roach for a minute. Aish. Twenty-one. Does it do double the amount of damage? Probably not. Yeah, that's plenty. No, uh, wrong one. Travel slash. Thank you. That it? Right. Oh yeah, I was gonna add a lightning to his setup, wasn't I? What do we get rid of? Cleansing. That might be useful. Binding. Probably less so. Actually. I'll go to the right menu in a moment. There we go. Maybe. Just maybe it might be worth using the iron... ...thing. Battles aren't lasting that long though, so really I just need a bigger pool of magic. And then let's compare that to the Iron Blade and see what we get with that. My HP is never high, so... Attack power plus 12. Eesh. Is that a linked materia slot? No, it's just a fourth. Ooh. Might keep the Buster Sword for now then and just wait till I get another 2 SP. Still compare it though. HP goes up quite a bit. And our magic attack is what's doing most of the damage here. Magic defense goes down, but they're not really using magic, they're just using grenades and stuff. Weirdly enough, our MP goes down. Although that's without the... Oh, less materia slots. I'll have to keep it as the best sword. We're doing alright. Wouldn't be any meaningful change, really. Give me a break. Cool. Ow! <laughs> oh, justice. That one slash is all I needed. Oh, come on. He's. Ah! Look at him just sitting there waiting for me to swing him. Was never in doubt. Only bounced. That's good to hear. Could have used some extra padding myself. <laughs> <coughs> Don't talk. <coughs> it's pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me. Don't let it be for nothing. Hmm. I won't. Good man. Giving me that. 
that uh, comfort. Even Biggs knows it's doomed. Oh, one more thing. The Leaf House. It's an orphanage. In the sector five slums. Yeah, he was the creator the kids, or the founder. They're great. I used to visit. <laughs> That you'll have to do yourself. <laughs> Let me guess. Not a fan of kids. <laughs> no. But you have so much in common. Good luck. Person on the long list of people. Uh, another person on the long list of people that Shinra has taken from Cloud. Right, gotta take the ladder. These guys. I got your nose. Fire and wind. Oh yeah, human and flying. So that makes sense. Oh, there's two of them. Oh! Whoa! Well, that happened a lot quicker than I expected. No. Yes. Let's go at it with a little more preparation, maybe. These guys hit hard. Come on. Whatever. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Whatever. Jeez. Just, there we go. Hopefully hit both. Let's finish this. 
Ah, oh, they're out of the range. Oh. Bring it. Going in. Sheesh, that was sketchy. Alright. Eh? Oh, I must have accidentally hit the center button. That's a good point. Might need to stock up on Barrett. I think I'd rather that at the moment. What are the chances I'm going to come across a, um, oh, hello, a bench now after using so many potions, and I think my first mega potion? Hey, Ether, could actually do one of those. See, you know, I much prefer this form of recovery, like, scattering, like, rather than giving benches and things to be able to heal yourself back to full, and the vending machines I'm alright with, they're a little too frequent for my liking, but I get it. But I much prefer, like, treasure chests giving you the things that you're gonna be needing. Like, ether. I'm gonna be needing an ether because I'm having to use a lot more magic because that's the best way to deal with these guys. And not only that, if you're not using magic, it encourages you to use magic because it's the best way to deal with these guys. Well, at least that's how I'm finding it. Rather than just play how you want and then just heal up to full. It doesn't... It means you're just waiting for the next bench rather than planning things strategically. Whoa, didn't see these guys. Man, I'm glad Cloud can move so fast. So fast, so far. It's a kick to the head and it's over. Nope. Missed that one. Listen, dude, just go away. No, this is the way I can to do Little hint of the uh, the neighborhood watch, what are they called? Their music. I like it. <laughs> the helicopter sounding awfully close. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. I wonder. I mean, I do the right. Uh, yeah. Sow the seeds of doubt and despair. Wait, I know you. 
Like, imagine if Avalanche weren't putting up a fight here and it's like, right, guys, we're not going to stop them from trying to take down the pillar. We're just going to evacuate everyone. And, like, they'd be like, oh, no. Avalanche are trying to take down the pillar when every member of Avalanche is down on the ground helping everyone. First class asshole. <laughs> Negotiate with terrorists. I thought it was pretty eloquent. A lot of rude. He's a professional. This cheap ass play. This one. How is it? Much better, thanks. You guys might want to. Sorry, I can't stay here. Scoot. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. <gasps> Aerith. There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? <sighs> Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. Come on! Seventh Heaven is this way. Wedge, wait! You guys can't stay here! Dude can run pretty well considering he just fell a good come 50 on, meters or so. Uh, we don't Aerith? Have time to waste. Aerith doesn't know who Marlene is, so how did she just say, go and help Marlene, right? I'm sorry, I can't open this gate without express orders. Sir, you need to step away from the gate. Do we finally get to go to the other side of this gate? If you don't let these people through, back off. It's not gonna happen. Wedge! I've been waiting 23 years to see what's the other side of these gates. Come on, guys. I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're going to stop them from dropping the plague, do you? I want to believe that we could still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Like... That's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day. I wish I'd done it differently. <clears throat> right here. Right now. I need to know I did everything I could. Is Tifa working on magic? <laughs> I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. <sighs> Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all going to die. <clears throat> Yay, good for you, man. No, sir. 
I will not obey that order. <laughs> Stop trying to make him the man he isn't. Quickly! You can't just wait. Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right. You can't miss it. Don't worry about me. All right, I'll get these people to safety. This get out of the yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, the episode's gonna be finished after I finish talking, but... I'm getting strong hints that Tifa knows what's going on. And by saying knows what's going on, I think she knows what happens. As in, she's not seen the future per se, but knows the direction that things are taking. Now I say this because... What she just said about how I don't want to look back on today and think that there's something I could have done and I didn't try and do it. Now that, linked with the whole concept of fate in this game, means that they are they are going towards the idea of defying fate. They've got they've put fate there to be defied, right? Like if if there wasn't any definition, like if there wasn't any kind of going against fate, then the whole MacGuffin of fate at all would have been pointless. It's like, oh yeah, this is fate. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> There's no reason to it. But certain things Aerith has done and said makes me think that she kind of knows what's going on as well. So just then, I don't want to look back and think there's something I could have done. She knew who Marlene was without... I mean, as the Tifa said Marlene to that little ghosty girl uh, in the train graveyard, so she might have heard her say that. So that is one potential explanation for that. But then there's the fact that Aerith knew that Cloud was a soldier and a merc when he fell through the roof of the church before... Well, before he said anything, she's like, I guess from the sword, right? Um, after seeing... Not Marco, but the other dude in a black cloak near where the kids' playground is in Sector 5. I can't remember what it was exactly, but after seeing him and then Cloud seeing him as Sefi, Aerith, I can't remember exactly what she said, but she seems to... She just kind of went, yeah, right. Like she knew what was going on. And... I'm just getting a whole vibe from Aerith that she seems to know what's going on. And the fact that Wedge just then as well was like, I've got this gut feeling, you know, that something... Like, what do you a reckoning? So he seems to, like, it can't be just him that seems to know what's going on. Now, the issue I have with this is the fact that are they trying to make this game into something it's not? Or are they using this whole concept of fate to just give themselves a bit, like Square Enix, a bit more creative freedom to be able to, I don't know, maybe diverge the story a little bit? It's hard to say, because there are certain parts in this game where things have diverged, but the Whispers have never, haven't never been a part of it. So, when we went and saw Jesse's uh, parents, when we did, less so for this, but when we did all the additional stuff in Wall Market, like the, um, the trio, they weren't in the original either. But the Whispers did nothing to stop us there. So, it's kind of like, well... Are they trying to keep things on track or not? But just like what, just before getting to the pillar as well, it's like they were stopping, or not so much stopping them from getting to the pillar, but just slowing them down, so that they could kind of go past the threshold of right now. There's nothing you can do, and just making sure that things proceed as the way they do in the original. But yeah, I don't. I say all this, but then. The game so far hasn't been too different, except for the things where the fate or where fate is involved. Now, this is the ironic thing: is the fact that fate only turns up when things start properly dive. Oh no, so fate doesn't turn up when things are diverging properly, but fate seems to be the only problematic parts of the changes. So, like with Jesse's parents and. Um, the wall market trio and stuff like that. That was fine. That was actually a nice addition. That didn't 
that wasn't a problem. But then whenever fate turns up, it's like, no, we're going to just stop you. And it makes it so much more aware of the fact that, like, th this is this new thing. Whereas you've got all the other things, which are just embellishments. They're, you know, they're built upon the base that Final the original Final Fantasy VII had already given you. So, putting fate in just seems like a weird way of saying, like, oh, just this is a reminder that this is a new game. This is this has a chance to go somewhere else. Whereas, if you up to this point had just removed fate, like any part with the whispers in, and just had the game proceed as normal, I would not have any issue with it. Now, obviously, we don't know the direction that they're going to take with the remaining games, and I believe it's Yoshinori Katase or Katase. I, I can't pronounce his name. Has said that Final Fantasy VII is Final Fantasy VII. It shan't be changed beyond that. But. You know, I still have my concerns. But the only way we're going to find out is just by playing. And for all the faults I'm finding, I am loving this game. It is great fun. It, the combat is addictive. The story is really good. And the embellishments, for the most part, are really great. The stuff through the collapsed highway and those hand grains, bleh, that was a filler. I don't like the filler. But everything else, fantastic. And rant over. See you guys in the next episode.